When I was on my way to a pre-hospital transfusion meeting, my, one of my sons says to me, so what's this meeting about? And I said, well, we're meeting to bring blood products onto the ambulances and helicopters. And he turns to me and he says, that doesn't happen already? Every ambulance and helicopter should have access to blood. And I think he's right. And what that would look like that if you know our nationally and EMS service provided transfusions is that we are allowing um, individuals that have medical or traumatic bleeding access to blood earlier in that episode. That's the potential of saving lives, extending a life, and possibly being more judicious about um, allocating blood resources because if you provide blood early on, that could save additional need for transfusions at the time at the hospital arrival or afterwards. I, I got out of the shower and was uh, drying off and noticed a couple spots of blood on the step out towel and uh, grabbed some toilet paper, tried to stop it because it was more than just a couple drops. It was spewing out the side of my leg. I was starting to get scared. I was getting weaker and I know I've started to fall forward and uh, pulled back so I wouldn't go crashing on the floor. I hollered in the, from the bedroom, are you okay? He said, very faintly. He said, no. I thought, well, he must be messing with me. So I opened the bathroom door and there was blood all over the floor. There was blood all over him. When I got there, um, it sounded like the patient was pretty sick and I got into the back of the ambulance where the crew had moved the patient to and I said, what's going on? And then do you think he needs blood? And they said, yeah, yeah, I think he needs blood. So I retrieved the refrigerator from our vehicle. Um, it had only been on the, on the vehicle for a couple days. So the whole process was fairly new for us, at least in terms of uh, you know, real world application. We uh, hung the blood, uh, we administered it uh, using our, our warmer and a pressure infuser, um, and it was remarkable. Um, his vital signs stabilized, his color improved, his mental status improved. Uh, frankly, everything got better. My husband probably would not have been here if it wasn't for the person who donated the blood. I just can't encourage people enough of the importance that it is to do that or how much we appreciate. That's never been something that I gave a lot of thought to until he was in the emergency room and looked so much better. I mean, we're talking less than a mile and looked so much better. When we think about providing blood to our emergency medical response services, those are the ambulances and the helicopters that are going to have blood I think we go in our minds to those trauma settings of car accidents, God forbids, massively bleeding patients. But what we're starting to see is that actually the blood can provide life-saving measures to medical bleeding. It has been an absolute pleasure and privilege to be partnering with EMS. I find that everyone is on the same team. We are so interested in just helping an individual that might be at risk and saving lives. And so when I work with our EMS partners, they want to make sure that they're following the rules. They are interested in updating equipment. They're interested in innovation. And I just find this to be a really great partnership right now.